Okay, so now we're really going to practice. So he got snorty when I was moving the stirrup, so I'm going to bring him away from the mounting block and get him used to the stirrup moving around and making noise on him so he's comfortable when I do try to get on. It's very windy, so I know you couldn't hear me much. It's best to just start them from the beginning if you're not sure. just go with them don't try to hold them still they'll stop once they get used to the motion and that's when you reward them with rest
to the other side of it. Good boy. has done this before and he just doesn't know me and he's scared of me, who knows. But either way, we gotta fix it. So now I'm going back to this side. Good boy. So remember, when you're going through this and you're figuring out, I just want it to stand still to go for me to get up. There's a lot of things involved. So one, they can't be afraid if their stirrup moves. Two, they can't be afraid if the mounting block moves because it might tilt, you know, and then they get scared and you jump on and they get scared and they run and you fall on your face or on your back. So I gotta be able to move the mounting block. Then I gotta be able to go up the stairs and he has to stand there. Then I have to be able to put my foot in the stirrup and he has to stand there. Then I have to be able to put my foot in the stirrup and actually swing my leg over and then he has to stand there. And then we just have to stand at the mounting block. So again, a lot of times this wasn't done right in the horses. So we got to go back and do it again. Right? I kind of wish all the Western dudes are the ones that were breaking the gated horses, but they're not because, you know, they start early, which people get mad at, but they actually do a really good job getting the horses um, well broke. block and try it again. So I took it away from the mounting block because when I'm doing this I don't want him to trip and fall on that. And you'll see once in a while he gets a little treat so he understands that's the right thing. And this horse wasn't cheap. <laughs> um, you'd think all this stuff would be done and he would be fine but I'm always surprised how little they know when they show up. Okay, so back to the mountain.
that. Now you might think, wow, she's bad. They all come like this, all my horses. And then you see how they stand, and I climb on them, and I kick them in the butt, and then they don't care. Reaching down on his belly, because again, this might be his sidle up spot. 
trying to rub it away. Like, go away. Now he moved, didn't he? It gets better.
do I get treats for that? I'm like, no. That wasn't good enough.
shadow reflection too. So I want them to be able to turn their heads on both sides. So if your bottle breaks or something that you could do one re stop with them. Um, so that's why I'm turning his head to the right also. So now we're going to try and get off the mounting block smooth, so I'll see if I get it or not. Yeah. It's because he 
sick of you doing stuff when I have them tied up too with the mounting block next to him just so he gets me used to being over his head and uh you know nothing specific happening with it so then he doesn't think a mounting block's a big deal it's just part of the grooming and uh let's get hot